when you're looking for a leak on these, you may not see a leak anywhere, but you'll see it collecting around these oval ports down here, okay? And you'll see it on both sides where it goes through the uh, radiator core support, and it'll just be wet right around here. The rest of it may be dry and look great to you, nothing all over the ground. You'll look at this round circle, and if you weren't just driving through water or something like that, and this has got, you know, oily water looking uh, residue on here from the coolant, you know, uh, your radiator is leaking and it's coming from the tank seams. It just finally ends up there. Now up top here, you could see if you're looking at the top of your radiator and you came over to look at it, everything looks fine and dry and you can't see anything, but you gotta look in between these crimps and you can see how it's wet in there. That may all be the only indication that it's leaking. So you really need to pay close inspection uh, to these because they usually leak under high pressure because these run at 20 PSI, whereas the radiators of the old days, they ran at around 16 PSI. There we go, like focus. What you can also look for is this, this white, re white uh, it's like a powdery residue, more than just uh, a water stains from, let's say, hard water got sprayed on it or something like that. It's actual um, dried up coolant on here. And you can look for stains like this all over the top of the radiator and maybe blown back onto like the hoses or the upper intake. You see all this white like powder uh, all over the place. Well, that's coming from the radiator and it's just dried. It, it failed, it blew off, and then it got all over the place and then it, uh, it actually um, dried up and you could see it. So it leaves wit witness marks for you so you know. Now this one also, which I've never seen before, this one may have gotten in an accident, but there's no damage to the front of the radiator. But right here on top, and this is where, is where the um, coolant overflow bottle actually bolts on right here. So you'll never see this unless you unbolt the bolt here, and was it right there? And that holds that little overflow bottle that's right here on top of the radiator. And there's the thermostat, or the um, radiator neck right there for the cap. So just to the left of that is where that overflow bottle's at. And right underneath that, this one had a nice split in it. And this one did not leak constantly either. This one leaked under pressure. So these are the, the common leak points on here. And maybe something you want to uh, look at and look for witness marks or actual leaks that are pulling up like that. Uh, before you start heading out on your your summer vacations and stuff like that. So it, it's something to look out for. Unfortunately, there's still no extended warranty on these radiators from Ford, some you know kind of uh, uh, offering from Ford, but there may be in the future. Um, it's very unfortunate because a lot of these, um, I'd say the 4.0s and the 4.6s is about equal with uh, the amount of failures I see.